Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to make a new machine learning model. So we are going to make a model in which we can easily predict whether a particular uh, object is a mine or a rock. So it is a rock versus mine prediction model. So uh, let me just explain you what is this all about. So if you know about uh, submarines which are uh, used by navies, uh, navies of different countries, uh, they just put uh, mines in the uh, rivers and uh, oceans and uh, there are also rocks present in the ocean so uh, the enemy ship will try to figure out that whether the uh, object which is close to them is a mine or a rock so uh, this particular data set is uh, based on this particular uh, concept only here you can see the different values are given here and uh, in the last column here you can see that uh, whether the uh, particular object is a rock or a mine uh, based on this particular data set is given so here you can see that r is given and after that here you can see that m is given so basically this data set is uh, is used to uh, predict whether the particular object is a mine or a rock so we will make a particular model uh, based on this data set and we will predict whether the particular object is a, a mine or a rock so uh, let's get started so here you can see that i have just opened my jupyter notebook and here we will start making our uh, uh, predicting model so here you can see that first of all i have just imported the dependencies which are needed here so i have just imported numpy as np panda as spd and from sklearn.model selection i have just imported train test split so basically what we have to do we have to split our data set into two parts so that's why we need this particular function train test split and after that i have just imported logistic regression model so basically what happens here uh, we have to just uh, classify whether the particular object is a a rock or a mine so it's it will just give us two answers so uh, that's why we have to need use this particular regression model here so logistic regression is best for this so after that i have just imported accuracy score so this particular function will give us the accuracy function a score of that particular model which we will make in this particular video so let's move forward so here you can see that uh, now i have just loaded the data set into a panda data frame so i have just created a new variable sonar data and then i have just loaded this particular uh, data set into this particular variable so now uh, this data set will be converted into a pandas data frame so after that i have just uh, used the head function to print the first five rows of this particular data set here so here you can see that uh, the first five rows of this particular column so here you can see that uh, these are the columns and rows here and the last column you can see that r uh, is there these are the particular labels here rock and mine so r represent the rock and m represent the mine so after that i am just uh, printing the total number of rows and columns present in this particular data frame here so here you can see that i have just used the shape function here so shape function will give us the total number of rows and columns here so there are 200 rows and 61 columns here so after that i am just using describe function so describe function will give us the statistical measure of this particular data set here so here you can see that uh, different columns are here here you can see that count mean standard and different kind of uh, rows are here and you can get a overview of, of, overview of it so let's move forward so after that i am just using value count function so uh, once we have just used it you can see that uh, total number of mine are 111 and total number of rock here are 97 so you can just have a glance of it so once we have done all of these things uh, we will just uh, separate data and labels here so label is here the uh, mine and rock column so we will just drop that particular uh, column here so i am just making a new variable x and y here so sonar data dot drop column 60 and x is equal to 1 so whenever you just drop a particular column then you have to uh, keep axis value is equal to 1 so once you have just dropped this particular column here we will store this particular column into a new variable that is y so let me just print this particular variable here so once we have printed this you can see that uh, these are uh, the uh, new columns and rows of the uh, x and y so here you can see that there are only 59 columns now in x and uh, the particular y function uh, y variable here is having this particular uh, co column here which is uh, having r and m values so once we have done this also we will just uh, uh, move forward here you can see that uh, now we are just uh, using the train test split function so now we will split our particular uh, data set into two parts test and train so i am just creating new variables here x train x test 
y train and y test and i am just using train test fit so uh, i am just keeping the test size equal to 0.1 and random state is equal to 1 you can just change the value of uh, random state is equal to 2 or 3 it's up to you so once you have done this also we will just print the x shape x train shape and x test shape so here you can get a uh, overview of how the uh, data is separated here so uh, the x is containing 200 208 rows and 60 columns and x train is containing 187 columns and uh, uh, 187 rows and uh, the x test is containing 21 columns here so here you can see that our particular data set is separated into two parts so now i am just printing x train and y train variable here so here you can see that uh, these are uh, the output of x train and y train here so let's move forward now so we will be training our uh, machine learning model now so i am just creating a new variable model and uh, logistic regression uh, function i am using here so once we have done this also uh, we will train our particular logistic model with training data so here you can see that i have just used it, used fit function here and uh, x train and y train uh, variables are here so once we have done this also our uh, machine learning model is trained and now we will just evaluate our particular model here so here you can see that uh, we will just uh, check the accuracy score of our training data so i am just creating a new variable x train prediction and uh, we will just use predict function uh, to predict our particular model here so after that i am just uh, creating a new variable here training data accuracy so this will give us the accuracy score of our uh, particular uh, model so i am just feeding with x train prediction and y train so after once you have done this uh, we are, uh, we will just repeat this particular uh, thing with the test data also so i am just creating new variables x test prediction and test data accuracy and we will just uh, calculate the accuracy score of our uh, test data so i am just printing the accuracy on test data so here you can see that the accuracy score on test data is 0.76190 so it is a very good uh, accuracy score so uh, here you can see that our model is completely made so that's it guys thank you for watching this video thank you very much